Hello friends, it is Voice Over Me. Today we are going to talk about the very feared R block or creative block. Why does this happen and what I personally do to get over it the fastest way as possible. Please take everything I said with a salt of grain since there is not a fixed formula for this and every person is different so maybe some of these advices won't work with you or maybe they do. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chelsea Escalona, I am a Cuban illustration artist living in Berlin and sharing my art journey here with you all. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, it will help me a lot. Now with that out of the way, have you found yourself sometimes like you can work or maybe stuck while creating? Well I have. It is not something that happens very often to me and with the passing of the years I have learned to identify what causes it and some things that help me to turn around the situation. I want to clarify that I'm not talking about severe burnouts or creative blocks due to depression or situations that might require professional help. We're talking about minor art blocks due to stress or exhaustion, the ones that happen cyclically and we can spot when they are coming our way. Like for example, if you are a woman, when you have your period, it is normal to have moments of lots of activity and then suddenly a drop of energy. This is due to hormone changes and we need to learn our timings in order to act accordingly and be gentle to ourselves in those times. But if you're working on a project that made you feel tired or running your business, etc., these are situations that can make us feel drained and we need to know how we can change our mood to bring back our creative juices. So the first thing I do and what's the reason why I started this illustration that you're watching now is start a new drawing. This is because I try to make something that makes me feel comfortable and confident on my skills and it will give me that uh, satisfaction and accomplishment that will make my mood uh, light up and be more positive towards what I'm working on and then I can move up move on, on to the next thing. I also like to listen to music that uplift my mood, maybe old songs that transport me to a, some sort of happy times or memories or a new song that made me feel energized. watch documentaries and art movies these are an instant boost for me of inspiration and energy to create i don't know it works for me maybe it works for you but in the times when none of these things work then i give myself time to be bored and let my mind wandering around just stop focusing on work or the things I have slash want to do. All this leads to the next thing, which is rest. This is more of a constant, constant thing to do and it's setting times for work and time for rest like a daily working hours or try not to work in on weekends since a good life work balance helps avoid the burns out and creative blocks eat well having proper meals and tasty snacks help us keep the good mood and a healthy body which we need in order to not feel excessively tired or lacking energy to do our tasks. Another thing is clean. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of 
super cleaning, but I do know that when my house is a complete mess, it haunts my head and keeps me from having a peaceful mental space. So when I feel like I can do art or the task I set up for myself, I find often that doing simple things like pick up the clothes or tidying up the house helps me to feel better and get into the working vibes I need. Another thing on, the, on this list is showers. Of course this has to be on the list. Showers are the moment of the day where we just relaxed. In those moments we sum up what we have done but also helps relieve stress and free our minds while the water is running. An alternative for this is a bathtub if you have one, also very relaxing. You'll find yourself reseted after taking one of those for sure. If I have been feeling blocked or drained for a couple of days, then I try doing things that don't put pressure on me. It's also a good way to let the creativity flow and help me get back on track with making art, like doodling on a sketchbook or having other hobbies like clay, ceramics, knitting or gaming. Whatever works for you as long as you enjoy doing it. Read! I love books and reading, and it's also something that sparks our imagination while we dive into a book that we are enjoying, and it can work as inspiration for new ideas as well. And that's it for me. Those are the primary things I do when I feel like the burnt out is coming or I am creatively stuck. These little actions help trigger my mood and energies and pulls me back on track. For some people, go to museums or coffee shops, changing the work environment, taking long, long walks or go to bookstores are also good activities to fill their creative cup. For me, I juggle with some of those when I feel like it and I usually don't spend more than a week feeling this way. So I hope that this advice, although it might sound obvious, help you when battling with creative blocks. Sometimes it is just the little things that we oversee the one that helps us the most. Hope you have enjoyed this video and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it already, it helps me so much. If you want to see more of my work, you can check my Instagram or my website. And thank you so much for watching today's video and see you in the next one. Bye!